It's really a wonderful day for me and absolutely delighted to be here um, for the launch of the Coalition for the Abolition of Prostitution. Um, it's a joy and something that uh, 20 years ago it would have been the furthest thing from my mind and if anybody had said to me you'll be going to Brussels to talk about your experiences standing here in the cold and the rain I most certainly wouldn't have believed them I'd have probably thought they were taking as much drugs as I was taking at that time <coughs> I left home very young I, I left home at 14 I was in prostitution within a year um, I left, I got out, I escaped at 22. Um, I only have about 10 minutes or so to talk, so I'm going to have to make it that simple, really. But I'll just say that in those years, um, so much happened to take me away from the core of who I was as a person, that there is nothing anybody on this earth could ever say to me to make me believe that they find prostitution some kind of empowering, sexually liberating, fun, uh, even barely tolerable form of employment. I don't believe that stuff. And nothing I ever saw or witnessed anywhere else in other women's lives led me to believe that that was even a remote possibility either. Um, there was far, far, far too much degradation, um, far too much... Um, there was a lot of violence, obviously, that comes with, with power for the course. But when people ask me questions about violence, I always feel that they're missing the point. I have always felt that. And, um, and there would have been a time when I felt that but wasn't very well able to articulate it. But that's exactly what it was. They were missing the point. They were missing the fact that the act itself was violent. That even the most gentle man who ever bought my body was violent. And in fact, you know what? In a way, it was worse because he was more dishonest than the fellow who gave me a slap around the head, because at least he showed me what he thought of me in every way, you know? So I suppose just briefly, it's been mentioned a few times already about the links between traffic and, and prostitution. Um, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine recently who, who's involved in a frontline service, and she mentioned that they'd had situations where people were known to be both pimps and traffickers at the same time in the sense that they were pimping women in the traditional manner, but also involved in trafficking women in, in the traditional manner. So that was a situation that actually, even with my years of experience, hadn't occurred to me. Um, but that happens too. Also, you've got the situation that, um, as has been said before, prostitution is actually, it's the reason why sex trafficking happens in the first place. Um, I always say that prostitution is the place where sex trafficking happens and it is the reason why sex trafficking happens. Um, there were a few points, I just made a few really brief notes as other people were speaking because I don't like scripting anything. I always feel awkward if I stand here reading from a page. But one of the notes that I made was um, the pro-lobby and the lies that we've had to put up with in the last couple of years. Um, certainly I couldn't cover those in 10 minutes, I can tell you that now. But um, one of, some of the big ones really have been um, the messing around with stats. You know, you have this constant, um, you know, uh, jiggery-pokery that they're playing with the statistics. And we need for that to stop. Um, and the only, we're never going to be able to stop them doing what they do, but we need to be able to refute that really strongly. Um, and I think that's, that's where I'd really love to see um, Sweden step in here because Sweden has done so much. It has given the world an example um, that I, can, I, I just couldn't tell you how much it means to me that Sweden has done what it's done because what Sweden did was it made clear that what has happened to me and to um, an, an uncountable amount of other young women and girls was wrong. And it was the first country to say that it was wrong. And that means more than I can say.